Phospholipids are a group of lipids that are phosphate esters. The presence of the phosphoryl group results in a molecule with a polar head, which is the phosphoryl group, and a nonpolar tail, which is the alkyl chain of the fatty acid. Because the phosphoryl group ionizes in solution, we end up with a charged lipid. The most abundant membrane lipids are derived from glycerol 3 phosphate and are known as phosphoglycerides or phosphoacylglycerols. And phosphoglycerides contain acyl groups derived from long chain fatty acids at carbon 1 and carbon 2 of glycerol 3 phosphate. And at carbon 3, the phosphoryl group is joined to glycerol by a phosphoester bond. So let's see here. They have both hydrophobic and hydrophilic domains. So you can see here, we have the phosphate group kind of dangling off down here at the bottom of our phospholipid. And we have the two fatty acid tails on the glycerol backbone, which is in the orange circle. And it's important that you know that phospholipids are structural components of membranes. They're also emulsifying agents. And an emulsifying agent is basically a compound that helps um, suspend or solubilize um, a nonpolar compound in water. And so it says here, suspended in water, they spontaneously rearrange into ordered structures where we have the hydrophobic group in the center, as always, the hydrophilic group pointing towards the water. And that is the basis of membrane structure. So I'm sure that any of you who have ever studied biology before have seen um, uh, um, a phospholipid bilayer where they draw all these circles like this, right? And then they have the two tails coming off every single one of them like this. You get something like that. Well, the red circle is this part, is basically this part of the molecule like that. And then the two tails are these parts coming down here. So this is what a phospholipid looks like when you look at it in greater detail. Now that you've had the chance to study organic chemistry, I'll just draw you know, a couple of phospholipids there. Anyhow, it says here the basis of membrane structure. They're not the only component of membrane structure, but they're one of the major components. Again, it says here that phosphoglycerides are used in cell membranes, emulsification, and they are micelle forming agents in the blood. There's a couple of kinds of phosphoglycerides. There's ones that are made with this molecule, this little guy here called choline. You don't have to memorize the structure of choline, but it's shown right here. And ones that are made with choline are called lecithin. And ones that are made with ethanolamine, so ethanolamine or serine are called, so here's ethanolamine and here's serine. Those are called cephalins. And lecithins and cephalins are found in the membranes of almost all cells, okay? Now, you don't have to have this necessarily memorized, but basically what you can see that when we have the simplest phospho phosphoglyceride, it's got a free phosphoryl group just floating out at the end right here. And this might be a little bit fuzzy, but this is called a phosphatidate. Okay, so a phosphatidate, right? But then if you attach, if you attach um, choline to it, so this is a choline molecule over here, then we get a lecithin. Maybe I should use my yellow highlighter. And if it has um, ethanolamine or serine, so if it's ethanolamine, you get a cephalin, so a cephalin, and then um, a, a phosphatidyl serine if you have serine attached to it like that. And again, these all of these phospholipids, the take home message here is that all of these um, could be found in cellular membranes. So a phosphatidate, lecithin, cephalin, or a phosphatidyl serine. 